Hello and uh, welcome to the second part of uh, the Idea Fly Grasshopper uh, review. In uh, this part, I'm going to try to add my own receiver and uh, transmitter uh, to it. For that, I'm going to need, of course, its uh, LiPo battery, a receiver. Uh, the receiver I have uh, chose is made by KS Servo. I'm going to add infos of uh, where to buy it and uh, more specification under this video in video information box. It's a very small receiver because I want to save as much as possible on weight on this quad to get as much speed as possible. So this is the SF800 uh, and it's uh, Futaba uh, compatible and uh, for this receiver I'm going to use a XKX7 uh, transmitter because I have this from my XK251 quad this also works on multiple XK models this has uh, seven channels it has uh, toggle switches it has a push button it's programmable and uh, you can set a lot of things like expos and uh, functions for each uh, switch so it should be okay for this quad and it also has a big LCD screen so you can adjust parameter CC you can access the menu so it should be okay uh, the range should also be plentiful for uh, this uh, kind of quad and I'm also going to need a uh, voltage adapter and uh, universal battery uh, equivalence circuit or uh, as you may wish to call it this will uh, take a wide range of uh, input voltages and output a stable 5 volt output this is going to use for uh, making a successful connection between this and the transmitter to pair it for the first time so let's get this on to pair this uh, little uh, receiver uh, I'm going to use one of uh, its provided uh, cables I'm going to actually use this one because it will uh, fit my power supply like this so I have uh, you need to check the polarity so this one fits perfectly and I'm going to connect it to the receiver. I'm going to use S bus protocol and you can see it only has three wires power supply ground and uh, communication and to make a successful binding uh, you need to power on the transmitter and uh, place it at, uh, at uh, half of meter or maybe one meter from the receiver so I'm going to put it aside and on uh, this uh, tiny receiver you have a small push button here what you need to do is to power on the receiver while you hold this button pressed so I'm keeping it pressed with my finger and I'm going to connect the power to it and it was a red light and now it's a green light that means that it is now binded with the transmitter and I'm going to turn off my light here so you can see the green light better and if I take the transmitter if I power it off you can see this goes red let's see if we can get some focus hello camera please focus all right so it's red turning on the transmitter it's green so it's successfully binded and now we need to connect this to the idea fly and to do that I'm gonna turn on the light gonna turn this off to save battery power right uh, on the F3 Light controller on uh, my idea fly. Uh, you get two connectors already pre-wired. You get this one, which 
comes with this plug which I'm not going to use and also it has a connector here on the rear that has all these wires and from all these wires I'm going to use the main first channel which has power, ground and of course signal that will go to my connector here but first I'm going to take this from this plug in the back and move it to this plug in the front because I don't want to take uh, the quad apart I'm going to use a small screwdriver and gently take the connector moving it from side to side and now the connector is free I can move it in front and there's my adapter cable from all these wires I'm just going to use this one and it will go just like this to my connector so all wires not only match but the same colors are uh, used and this one will get connected in the front connector here and let's see if we can put this without taking the quad apart I'm not a fan of fiddling with small stuff but Just a bit of patience, once in a while, may do wonders. And there it goes, it's fully connected and we have our receiver installed. Now I'm going to connect this to my PC and uh, see if we can uh, get it working but also let's see if we can get power into it and if I put this on yes this is red if I turn on it's green so at least power goes into the receiver and now let's program it properly now that uh, I have connected uh, the receiver to this uh, front port, which is the UART 3 port of the S3 flight controller, I have connected uh, my quad to the clean flight uh, software and I'm going to show you how to enable SBUS communication to make it work with uh, my transmitter or any kind of uh, Futaba transmitter. First thing you need to do is to go on uh, ports and on the UART 3 port I'm going to enable uh, serial communication and now I'm going to press save and reboot. Okay, now it's ready and then we need to go in configuration and here on uh, receiver mode I have to choose uh, SBUS and from this provider list I also need to choose SBUS so this is serial which is uh, uh, SBUS we have enabled serial port and serial provider and now also we need to save and reboot okay that was done now I'm going to power on the quad with the LiPo battery, no props installed, so the receiver will get power. I'm also going to power on the transmitter and if I go to the receiver and move the sticks, you can see we have controls and you can see that some of the switches, toggle switches already work, even the push button works so we can map that on uh, flight mode and other settings like that so from here on it's all about clean flight and configuring the flight controller that's another story 
and uh, this quad should uh, come with uh, most uh, settings like uh, PIDs already tuned you can see the default values here and if you need I can send you a, a dump of the uh, informations and the rest of the settings I'm going to look at them you can see it comes with one shot enabled it has some kind of fail safe enabled so you just need to add your own flight modes it only comes with angle mode so the rest need a check some important uh, notes if you choose to use uh, this kind of transmitter this uh, does not uh, permit setting endpoints so in a clean flight uh, you are not going to have full range for throttle and uh, you are not uh, going to start from 1000 then reach 2000 value and uh, this can be a problem as you will not be able to arm the motors uh, even if you try to set up a, a separate button to arm them uh, this will not work, uh, the button will not turn green and uh, they will not arm the solution was uh, to enter in uh, CLI and uh, set a minimum uh, uh, check I'm going to show you exactly first I'm going to make a dump and if you take a look here at uh, set uh, minimum check mean check this uh, it should have a value that is larger than your minimum value seen at uh, the receiver settings for example i have set it to 1150 and on my receiver it was 100 1000 1, sorry 110 so you can make it with a few units larger than this but i chose to put a bit of difference and uh, that will enable you to arm the motors so finally after this uh, fiddling with uh, the transmitter and configuring clean flight I can arm the motors and prepare for a test flight and here is the uh, throttle arming motors are idling and we have throttle control and the rest of uh, channels are programmed I have also set this to angle mode and stabilized mode and uh, flight test is coming bye bye